Number five gives you these three points in three dimensional space and it says find these two direct line segments. Find BA, well it's just going to be A minus B. So it's going to be 3, negative 3, 0, take away 2, negative 3, 1. That's terrible writing. 3, take away 2 is 1, that comes to 0, that comes to minus 1. So we've got 1, O, negative 1 for the first one. And then what's the other one? BC. BC is going to be C, take away B. So that's going to be 4, K, 0, take away B, which was 2, negative 3, 1. So that's going to be 2, K plus 3, negative 1. Right, that was the first bit. 2. Oops. Show that cos ABC. Right, fair enough. Cos ABC is going to be... Now, to find the angle... To find that angle, I need the vectors radiating away from B. But I do, I've got BA and I've got BC, so that's fine. So to find that, I can go straight in with the scalar product. I've got BA dot BC over the length of BA times the length of BC. So I've got, we'll just show all the bits of working. So I've got, well, you can put this down. I've got 1 times 2 plus nothing times K plus 3 plus negative 1 times negative 1 over... The length of BA, which is 1 squared, nothing squared, negative 1 squared, even though you know what those things come to. 2 squared, K plus 3 squared, plus negative 1 squared. It's not too clear there. Oh, I'm running out of space. So I'll get this down quickly. So I've got 2 and nothing and 1 is 3 on top. 1 and 1 is 2. Yeah, it's amazing how that crops up in the higher. So that's root 2. And this part I'll need to multiply out. Oh, so I'm running out of space. So I've got 4 plus, square the bracket, k squared, twice the product, 6k, square the last, 9 plus 1. So that I've got, oh, this just fit in here, if I write it small. So with that over, root 2 times k squared plus 6k plus 10 plus 14. And the last part is it says, show it's equal to that. Well, you can just absorb the two roots together when you're multiplying. So that's going to equal 3 over one big square root, which will be 2 times k squared plus 6k plus 14. That's not ideal, which I've written as big up there. Yeah, let me clear that. So in part B, just put the expression back up there, it says, if this angle is actually 30, well, if that angle's 30, that means you've got the cos of 30. And the cos of 30, in case you don't remember, you can just quickly put down your triangle, the 30, that's a small one. The cos of 30 is root 3 upon 2. That means that that expression, which is looking a wee bit nasty just now, but never fear, there are ways around it, will equal root 3 up in 2. Right, there's two things you don't like here. You've got square roots, square it. You've got fractions, multiply by them. What do they do first? Ooh, square it. So I've got 9 squaring this side. I've got 9 over, and that square root just disappears upon squaring. Oops. Equals, root 3 goes back to 3, and that becomes 4. That's looking better now. Now get rid of the fractions. So multiply both sides. Well, you could just think cross-multiply. Multiply both sides by I'll need a 4 and a bracket. So 4 times the bracket. Well, 4, the bracket will go 4 times this side. The 2 will go into that. That will leave you 18. 4 will disappear upon multiplying. So that will be 3 times k squared plus 6k plus 14. What I did there was I multiplied by 4 times the bracket. 4k squared plus 6k plus 14. So that went into it twice, so that's why the top was doubled. That went into it the bracket number of times, that's why it's multiplied the bracket. Next thing I'll do is I'll divide everything by 3 and write it the other way round. So I've got k squared plus 6k plus 14 equals 6. That's a quadratic, take it all to one side. 6 comes over, drops that down to 8. Factorise it. How many times have done that so far? It's a factorising exam. So that must be 2 and 4, plus and plus. So finally, k either equals negative 2 or k equals negative 4. Right, that was question 5.